I'm back baby! I am back in London and I have arrived perfectly on time because Casa Amor is going to take place tonight and I'm ready guys. Hook it into my veins and put me in the damn hospital. Oh my god! Hey guys, it's Murad Murad. Hopefully you guys are doing well today. Back at it again with another video and back in London. And let's get straight into this. Subscribe, click that button, at daily and consistent content. Head over to my TikTok as well. We've got a lot to talk about. Casa Amor is really Casa Amoring and it's taking place tonight. I did not assume it would happen tonight. I thought it was going to happen tomorrow. Let's leave on a cliffhanger. But I'm quite surprised by the fact that they're doing it tonight. Surely they would have given us some kind of warning or something. I don't know. Give us a date. Why wouldn't Love Island give us a very clear day and date for the major Casa Amor episode so that it can really, really, you know, enthrall a lot of viewers. It's doing really great this week when it comes to ratings. But at the same time, I am quite shocked, first and foremost, by Chloe and the fact that that guy prefers Faye then Chloe and Chloe gets piled off. Does that mean she comes in single? Because that can happen. Tim, you want to get to know Faye? That's cool. And it seems that I feel like Faye will definitely recouple. That is my predictions. What are your predictions? I feel like Teddy will come back single, Faye will recouple, um, Liberty and Jake will stay single, Liam will recouple, Millie will be single, and Kaz and Tyler will both recouple as well. Liberty, not Liberty, sorry, um, Abigail will also stay single. Is the ultimate relationship test. Toby will recouple. Now, I feel like Abigail is playing a very big game, but nobody is talking about it because nobody really thinks about her. No shade, no tea. But it, it, it is always better to be a Casa Amor victim than, than to be single. Obviously, it's better to have your other partner come in and you're both single and you're both back together again. That is obviously a desired trait. However, what is also a desired trait is being a victim of Casa Amor. Why? Because it gives you a lot more attention. And this is what I feel like Abigail is trying to do. The fact that she thinks Toby will remain single when you've only known him for 48 hours and he's dropped two girls, you're, you, you must have several doubts in your head, to, enough, so much doubt in your head, enough that you would actually move to somebody else. Because, you know, if any other person having these doubts, surely you would too when it comes to Toby. So the fact that he, she's then seeing that postcard and she's still um, doing up singleness, I do feel like she's like, let me be single, get that empathy from people, and that empathy will bring me attention and ratings and I'll be relevant and people will talk about me. I feel like this is her game plan and this is what she's trying to do. Because there's no way you can go in the villa, hold hands with Toby from with Chloe, take him like that within seconds and then suddenly you're doing up, I don't know what. Single bystander, like a security guard. Like it's just, it seems a little bit too sus to me and I feel like she is playing a game. I'm not mad at it. That's Lucinda driving away from Aaron. She's gone like the wind. Um, I do feel like that she, Abigail is playing a game. But I'm ready for Casa Amor. I feel like even Laura Whitmore looks better. I feel like she's presenting better. It's like a horror movie, this trailer. It's very dramatic. I am very much here for the dramatics. And I feel like they're pulling out everything they can. They put the postcard. The last time they did that was in 2018, I believe. So the last two seasons, they purposely have stopped doing that because of the Ofcom reporting. But they brought that back. I've never seen Love Island bring anything back. I'm quite surprised by that. So I feel like they might bring back the lie detector test. I don't know, I need the tweet challenge to come in and ruin Jake for everybody to know that he was the made sabotage of that particular villa. I feel like they need to all know that. I'm here for Hurricane Faye. That needs to come fast and quick. Kaz's reaction was everything. Liberty was frozen, whatever. And I'm just ready, guys. Ex listen, Thursday, Friday, Sunday, it's going to be Casa Amor Madness. And you know, my reviews, my videos, expect the schedule to be back on, where my videos will be coming out an hour or so after now, very much more punctual. We are back to original scheduling, but also expect a lot more Love Island related videos because a lot is happening and I'm back in London, baby, and we're gonna get on top of this. Let me know what your thoughts are, subscribe to the channel, click that button, guys, for daily and consistent content, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.